all right welcome back guys so let's say you've been able to create an app you've uploaded it to the play store it has been reviewed and it's live in the future you would most likely want to update your app and make some changes to it that's what i'm going to show you in this tutorial so um when you want to update your app say you've added pages you've added you know different content the key aspect of updating your app is first to come to your um config.xml file okay so i'm going to click on the config.xml file okay assuming i'm done with my updates and you need to come to the version okay that's on line two so just after your widget and this id here there's this version here that is 0.01 you just need to add you just need to make this two okay so you just increment it by one all right and then you save okay so um after you've done this by doing this um the play store would be would be able to know that this is an upgraded version of your app okay and it will be able to you know process it so when you've done this then the next thing you need to do is you need to um you need to update all your files okay because you've added new co um, content you've added probably added new pages to your app and stuff like that so you need to tell android you need to prepare android and let it be aware of those new changes that you've made on the file okay so the way you do that is let's come to our toolkit and i'm good i'm just going to come to the step 11 build signed apk and i added something um it was previously not there so this command here to prepare android for build slash updates okay so whenever you make any kind of change to your file and you want to build it again you need to use this command to update all of you know the files okay so i'm going to copy this command and i'm going to bring up my code editor and then i'll paste that in okay so ionic cordova prepare android so it's, it's preparing android for a build process okay or an update i'll hit enter and the command will run so let me just um all right so the process is complete now what you need to do is you need to then um you know open android studio so you already know the remaining processes but i'm just going to show you because um you already have a certificate so i just want to show you how you can access that certificate and update your app because you can only update your app with that certificate you created the first time okay and remember we saved it inside our folder okay the one we had on our desktop this one here healthy woman app okay so just have somewhere where you keep your um certificate okay and keep it very well okay because without it you will not be able to update your apps so i'm just going to close um the folder every folder that is here and i'm going to behave as if i want to import the project again okay so i'll click on import project and i'm just going to search for the specific project i, I i'm working on which is the healthy woman app and then i'll go into platforms and then i'll click on android okay i'll select ok and it will load the project inside of android studio so let's just give it a few minutes to do that all right so our file has properly loaded now basically all you need to do is to come to build right and we want to build a signed apk remember you can only upload a signed apk to the play store so i'm going to click on generate signed bundles slash apk okay and i'm going to select apk and i'll click on next okay so now what you need to do is to choose an existing key okay if you don't see this option to choose an existing key then um if like maybe if you get the option to create a new key just go and click choose an existing key but as it seen as it is here the key has already been selected so if you see healthywoman.jks and it's in the healthy woman app folder so what you simply need to do at this point is just to enter your password and click on next okay so um remember the password we set let me just grab it somewhere okay so this is it one to eight so i'm just going to copy this password and i'm going to 
paste that in i'll paste that in and i'll click on next and as you can see it brings us to this page where we can simply just generate um our release bundle or our signed apk so i'll click on finish and as you can see at the bottom here gradle building run gradle build running so it's going to generate this a signed apk that we can up upload to the play store okay all right so let, let's just give it some time and wait for it to generate and all right so the build process is complete now what you need to do i'll just click on locate here to open the folder where the um apk the signed apk is contained so the folder is open here let me just drag it here now um let me show you something so i'll go to app and you will notice here that we have this release build if i open it you'll see the um current build the build that just occurred now now it's important for you to note that whenever you run this process um, this build uh, process from android studio it's going to override the existing uh the previous build you had okay that's the previous apk you had so it's going to override it so if you want to keep that you can simply just maybe rename it okay so usually this is this is the build this is the apk the signed apk right so just come into the folder that's the release folder and before you run the build process just come here and rename it to maybe release hyphen or just say v1 which is like version 1 or version 0 point zero point one okay so you, you gotta rename it before you then come to android studio to run um the build the signed apk okay if not it's going to override it okay so that's just what i wanted to point out to you so basically this is how you can update your application basically from your um basically from your config.xml just update the version by one okay increase it by one so 0 0.002 and then run the um command which we did so this is just like a recap so run the ionic cordova prepare android and then come to android and build your apk okay so that's as simple as that so basically that's how you do it thank you so much for watching this video and see you in another one